Hello, you absolute legends. Welcome back to the channel. John here with Tangerine Smart, Pumpkin Smart, Night Orange Smart, whatever you want to call it. The job is pretty much done. The repairs are all done. And now it's time to take it for a test drive. I have driven this car literally less than a mile. Um, it was delivered to my house. I drove it round the corner. I brought it to dad's and went, this needs doing, this needs doing. Look at this, let's fix this. It's been 19 days since I bought the car and we've done lots and lots of work to it. If you haven't seen those videos on the channel, I absolutely suggest you check those out first. If you're here just for a road test, then that's fine, welcome. But if you have been following our journey, hopefully it has not been all in vain. New exhaust, braking system, twiddly bits, and just a general tidy up. In this video then, come with us. You'll be in the cockpit. You'll be in the cabin of the Smart 45142. It's the night orange edition. Dad will be with us as well. <laughs> Touch wood. Nothing terminal and everything is uneventful. Best case scenario, it's two blokes in a smart car that's bright orange driving around Lincolnshire for 20 minutes. Right, test drive for the smart. Oh dear, there you go, let's try again. I need a miracle. <laughs> <laughs> I need a miracle. You couldn't make that up, could you? It? Right, we're in the smart 451. It is our first test drive. Um, I've got the car at the end of the drive. I'm gonna turn eco mode off because, well, I hate eco mode stop. This stop start isn't it, the eco mode system. We've done a lot in this car. New exhaust, new braking system, a general tidy up and fettle. I'm hoping it drives better than a smart 450. What do you reckon? Yeah, it will do, won't it? Where are we going? Lincolnshire's back roads? Anywhere where it's not mucky and squaddy and full of cauliflowers. <laughs> so not Lincolnshire then. Um, let's go right for a change out of the driveway. Um, that rattle, by the way, is, this is where I broke down. Oh, <laughs> is a can of paint um, in the back. So one litre Mitsubishi engine. And it is, it's riding quite firm, actually, with both of us in it. Have you done anything to the suspension? You know I have. What are you going to be listening out for, looking out for on this road test? I'm planning on getting a bit of shut eye. So I haven't driven this car any more than a mile since uh, I bought it. It was delivered to my house um, and I drove it around the corner to you to do the work on. Um, there's actually quite a bit of road noise. Are all the windows closed? Yeah. For a car that's covered 103,000 miles, uh, we don't know how much of that is towing, do we? Um, just for context... It still wears the wheel bearings and stuff out. Yeah, it does. It? Just for context, you've mentioned that you broke down. I did, yeah. Tell, tell, us, tell us about that. I drove out of my drive yesterday morning and the front spring broke on the Peugeot. Yeah. Unfortunately, when a spring breaks on a Peugeot, you're doomed. It's one of those jobs that's going to cost 70 odd quid to do. In fact, actually, there is a video on the channel. Yeah. Um, if I'd got live. bits, it'd have been done by now. Is it a big job? No. There's quite a bit of road noise. Um, the tyres don't seem to be overinflated. No, we checked them, didn't we? Does it sound like a hub bearing to you? No. Sounds like tyre noise to me. It does sound like tyre noise, doesn't it? Obviously we're on a, a main road here, or on a road here in a residential area, so 30 miles an hour. I haven't had a chance to open it up on the uh, on the dual carriageway or anything like that. There doesn't seem to be any sort of major knocks or bangs though, does there? I'm get sure it. the brakes felt a bit better than they did last time. Then. Well, when I can get it up to well, then, speed... Well, just normal driving, I'll I felt the, the brakes. brakes was horrible. Yeah. I suddenly thought, where's my brake pedal gone? I think we've diagnosed that as being air in the system. You know, it's braking normally now.
of uh, driving this in sort of automatic mode. It has got what's happened here? Is it oh, a part of a couple of modes, including these flappy paddles on here, which not really my sort of thing. Hmm. What's up? A long pedal? No, I haven't got a long pedal. I think it's got a bit more go than my 450, probably because it is a one litre sort of... It might be dragging you on a bit more. 999cc, what does that mean? I think there's so much engine braking, maybe. Hmm. I'm going to go this yeah, way. Yeah, look at these traffic yeah. lights. So yeah, it's, do you know, it's temporary traffic lights central in in our town centre. I don't, I don't know why they do it. They've got one of the main roads over the river closed. They've got temporary traffic lights on every other road. I want to point out to you, by the way, mm. Proton Gen 2. There it is, in there, in all its gold glory. Oh. What are they doing here? Cables, is it? Oh, they want to be doing the potholes, not the cables. Feel that, how bumpy that was. So I'm going to go on our local dual carriageway, what do you reckon? If anything, the brakes are too sharp. That will probably settle down when we put the when we've settled the new brake uh, disc, bleh, new brake pads in. What do you think to that? Uh, no. You're not saying much on this road no, test. I'm thinking. What are you thinking? I'm thinking. Uh, I'm listening. For, I'm listening. I'm listening to see if I can find anything that's bothering me. Go on, mate. You can rub all the wheels against you the could curb. Get a tank against there. <laughs> I didn't know if it wasn't happy that he'd only got one wheel curbed, he was going to try and curb <laughs> two. The driving. Just be aware it might do something unpredictable. Yeah. The driving position is different in this. The seats are a bit firm. Yeah. Do you not think? They do, mate. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. They're these leather sports seats. Yeah. But they haven't got no side bits to stop you sliding on the leather no. sports seat, have they? Well, I've got uh, terminal <laughs> gravity against me. Well, you haven't. Got, you've got, you've got, you haven't got as much gravity as got me. got as much inertia. <laughs> <laughs> gravity doesn't act on me so much, doesn't it? One thing I have noticed in here is there are three clocks. One there, one there, and one there. Excellent. In case you need to know what time it is, Rover 25 facelift. Trophy blue. Or was it oxygen blue? Oxygen blue. Ah, oh, now I like these. Ooh. Honda E. Ooh. I think they look like Johnny Five from the front. No it's disassemble. It's very sort of smooth lines, isn't it? It's like no lumps on it. But it looks like that's the front at the back as well. You know I mean? It's got no no sticky out bits, has it? Uh, no. Well, I've never seen one of them. Well, I've never took any notice anyway. What of the Honda E? Beautiful little thing. Oh. So it is an electric vehicle, is it? Yes. Yeah. This car feels wider than my other one. Yeah? Um, I think it is about 15 centimetres wider. Either way. So it's about a foot wider. And actually, I, I can feel it. It doesn't seem to be as... 15 centimetres, that's... Well, it's a foot. It's a foot wider. And actually, I can feel it, because in our 450, I'm normally cramped up here with you, aren't I? This person doesn't know where they're going. Well... The sort of people I like to give four car lengths to. <laughs> four Peugeot 406 lengths, is that? Not four smart car lengths. The interior seems a nicer place to be than the 450 as well. It all depends who's driving. Well, <laughs> get off his ass! What do you class as being on someone's ass? That's better. That? That's better, that is. Ridiculous. That's 10 car lengths. So? The ride is firm. Yep, it is. Um, but it's certainly not as harsh, though. It's not as bumpy. No, it's not. It's not shaking my fillings out. My 
intention was to get onto the main road to oh, get yeah. it up to up to speed. speed. Yeah, but there's quite a few people out and about today. Yeah, people out doing their stuff. Half past nine. Friday stuff. Oh, we could go to Lidl. And check the status of their public toilets. I went to Asda this morning before six o'clock. Asda? I did, I wanted some eggs. Did you manage to get any eggs? I did get some eggs, yes. Our one. local supermarket is restricting the amount of eggs you can buy in one go. Is that the little? That is the little, yeah. Yeah, I got... I bought 60 eggs this morning. 60? What on earth do you need 60 eggs for? Because I eat eggs for my protein. Oh, it's way in today. Oh, no. It's way in with... Uh, so you're not eating today, my then. diet coach. Not eating and drinking. <laughs> Spitting as much as you can. Yeah. No, we're doing okay. Blowing your nose, that's it. That's another microgram. <laughs> that's a big dog. It is, isn't it? It's a Japanese Akita. Is it? Well, the car certainly drives better than it did when I bought it. Does it? In that, well, the braking, you know, you're not putting the yeah, pedal the brake, to the floor. Well, just the little distance I took it, the first thing I noticed was, crikey, the brakes aren't very good. And obviously that exhaust isn't blowing, it doesn't sound like a tractor. Yeah, I forgot about that. My concern is, it's relatively noisy in here. Do you think they just like that? Uh, no idea, man. is less when I'm sat like this. That's true. Maybe it's just reverberating around the the cabin. Yeah, you're right. There, there it comes in. It's like how noisy your bathroom is when you take your shower curtains down. Who noticed that? No, but well, your bathroom is much larger than ours. If you take your shower curtains down, the place is noisier. Oh, we're going to wobble on that person. It's quite windy today. Is it? Um, I don't have to fight with this car as much as I do with the 450. No. This is a different part of Lincolnshire. Yeah. You're not. You're not so knowledgeable about no, this part. No, 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 no going on around this, here. This is a different land. This is. <laughs> We've gone the other side of the river. This is a different land. Different peoples around here. Different tribes. <laughs> Quick, get back home. I can predict that most of the tribes are from down south. Yeah, that's that's true. Yeah, that's true. They're building lots of nice houses out here and you're most of the people I associate with at the gym live this neck of the woods. Are they from down south? Nah, from down south. Dave, he was a London lorry bus driver. He knows about the Wilson pre-select gearbox. Does he now? Of course. That's featured in our Armstrong Sidley. He knows about Wilson pre-select gearboxes. There's not many creaks or rattles, is there, from the dash or any of the plastic? No. For a smart car, it's a lot different to the 450. The 450, in my opinion, is not a nice place to be. I suppose I've got used to it in yeah. the past five years. It's a bit bone shaking. See, what annoys me is, when I'm going anywhere, I know my poor old Peugeot's a bit ramshackle, but it's still a better ride than anything else on the fleet. <laughs> on my fleet or your fleet? On my fleet. I was going to say. It's, it's a nicer ride than the Nissan Note. I'm going to put this into manual mode Ooh. and use the flappy paddle. Ooh. Oh. What's up? I'm just using the flappy paddle, so I'm in well, four. One's for your radio then and one's for your gears, is it? Uh, no, no, no. It's all, it's all gears. Oh, so it's right up hand, and down. Right hand up and left hand down. So I can change into fifth. The difference with this one, by the way, it's only a five speed box. Is it? Not a six speed box. There's that Rover 25 again. So 
So at 60 miles an hour, we're obviously in fifth. I wonder if it'll let me turn down to fourth. It will let me turn down to fourth. It will let me turn down to third, but it's shouting at me. Is it sending you messages? It's saying, go up, go up. Like lorry driver saying, I'm from Dyson. So you can also use the uh, gear shift here as well, pull it back, pull it forward, but actually, why would you? Why would you do that when you can use the flappy paddles? I actually quite like the flappy paddles. Oh, good. They force you to hold the car in a certain way, hold the steering wheel in a certain way. Yeah. Because you can't be driving like this. No. And then use your flappy paddles. No. I'll turn it back into auto mode yeah. because I don't want to have to start thinking you about no flappy paddling. What do you think to the panoramic sunroof, by the way? Well, that's better. Do you think that's better? When I'm in a car, I think to myself, I want a roof. Well, the issue I've got now is it's touching your head. My head is touching yeah. the roof. A lot of people will say, John, you're six foot no, three. No, lots of cars I, so I took, well, my, my head used to just touch the roof line in slightly on lots of cars. And uh, things I can't drive comfortably. Fiat 500 with a sunroof. I'm in like that. And even then it hits my head. You know, you're always thinking, oh, my hair's just touching the roof. Oh, I'm in the wrong lane. There we go. I don't think that matters in Boston, here, does it? <laughs> hey, I sometimes look and think they can't have a driving license. We do what we like. They can't have a driving license. So we're going to go on this new roundabout now, which has oh, got, yes. which is as part of the Leveling Up Fund. So they've given us loads of money to make a roundabout that nobody can understand. Yes. That's um, a good idea. Is it to keep us on our toes? I don't know what is it's it to, all about. Is it to stop us from stagnating? If you live in Lincolnshire, namely Boston, you will know which roundabout we're talking about. Because you can either wait and look right, or just do exactly what yeah. you want and not look at all. I know, but... Which I'm going to do. Let's go in the non-looking lane. I, I don't know. even need to look. I'm not even going to look yeah, right. right. I'm just going to carry on. Yeah, I'm yeah. into me mo... Oh, no, I'm halfway around the roundabout. Oh, my God. don't even need to look. But yeah. now I'm I do need lane. to look because I'm in the wrong lane. <laughs> and this Ford wants to... It's, it's bollocks, for lack of a better term. And I, I think, genuinely... Your mum negotiates it, all right? It's going to be dangerous. Well, you negotiate it every day. I do negotiate it every day. That total Scania truck is the same paint colour as us. I'm surprised that there hasn't been more incidents in that roundabout. Well, they've had to spend money putting it right, because I think they calculated they'd made a bit of an error on one of the cambers. Yeah, uh, they've also done something, as I understand, that part of it they're going to change because the trucks can't negotiate a certain part of it without mounting the pavement. But the area I've just been on, it's basically a slipway lane, isn't it? Yeah. That is separate to the roundabout, but it's the roundabout. I've never seen one before, but people tell me there is lanes like that in other places. You'd have thought there'd be some sort of arm co or something. I've never seen one. Crash either. barrier of some description. Anyway. Have you seen one of them anywhere else? No. Uh, I haven't. I'm going to attempt to see what it's like with speed bumps. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. So I'm going to go through the town centre. Yeah. It drives quite nicely. I actually thought, when I bought it, it lacked a bit of power in comparison to the 450. The 450 is a bit lumbered. Uh, well, it's, it's, when the turbo kicks in, it gives you that kick in the pants. And you say, <laughs> Woo! But it does, it, doesn't it? It is like a little go-kart. This is... More of a car. But it's not a horrible place to be. And it is quite high miles for a smart car. 103,000. You know, you can pick some of these up that's done 20,000 miles. Don't get me wrong, they're a lot of money in comparison to what I paid for this. It 
doesn't feel... It's lost a bit of charm. <laughs> the smart car. Yeah. Hasn't it? I know, but... Is it charm or is it character? Oh, what's the difference? I don't know. It's like my friend Janice. Has she got charm or has she got character? I'd say she's got character. Oh, well, there you go. Again, I would say, what's the difference? That's... A, your mum... Oh, that's a funny colour, that red. It's like faded red. It's like an orange red on that Ford Ka, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's like a post office van colour, but it's supposed to be like it. It's quarter to ten in the morning yeah. on a Friday. How many people are going to be in our local weather spoons? <laughs> Oh, I'd expect it to probably be heaving. Oh. Well, it's no. not that busy. It didn't, is it? Right, here's some speed bumps. Oh, oh. no, that don't go. That's, that's, that's <laughs> not very nice. It's not, is it? <laughs> right, now let's try and do it at a more sensible speed. I was coming over here the other day, and one of our visitors to the town come flying across there on his push bike, went straight across there. I thought, that, I thought I was going to kill him. Well, that would not have been good. No, it had dented my Peugeot. So that wasn't as bad? No. They are a bit quaint. I see lots it... of the low and slow people try to go, go round all these up here. <laughs> oh. oh no, a bus stop shop. What's happened to the bus I don't know. stop? It's here. What? Well, I normally go round this you one, can't but I can't do because there's a large there's a, lady in the way. There's a visitor. Oh. That, oh, that's horrible. I don't know why the low and slows go round. Oh. Just let everybody know there's an art exhibition on here at the moment. Oh, any artists we know? Oh, there's one lady, yes, I know. She, um, I speak to her regularly. Is it my mother? Yeah, it is. Oh, it is. good, yeah. So uh, if you want to go see local art, and I'm using that in a uh, loose sense of the word, <laughs> hashtag weeping nut. Oh, well, that was very clever painting, but why would you want to <laughs> buy a picture of a sad nun? <laughs> you know? Just, yeah. again, for context. Yeah, if she's happy like uh, Sister Boniface, well, that's probably a nice thing to see. But Or the cast of um, Sister Act. No, 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 they're too scary. They're scary <laughs> nuns. J again, just for context. There's an art exhibition locally. Mum is part of a local art group. And they're very talented people. Very talented it's people. Really, well, if, well, that's subjective, isn't it? It is subjective. It is, you know. But something uh, can be brilliant. There's one painting which is absolutely brilliant. But I don't like it. But just to clarify, who wants a picture of a crying nun in their house? But it, it was, I don't think you've seen the picture. It is technically brilliant. <laughs> I have seen the picture. Part of me wants to buy it just for banter. Should we buy Mum the Weeping Nun no, picture? because it, it's, it's not scary, it's just, I don't know why you it's, want... It's ecclesiastical, isn't it? It's religious. If you had, if you, I'll tell you what, no, I'm, I'm giving it a hard, an unfair rap. If you had a Wesleyan chapel that you lived in... Well, you wouldn't put that on the wall, <laughs> would you? Or if you had a religious building that you lived in, Converted. Yeah, probably, yeah. I think you'd probably pop it on the wall, wouldn't you? Yeah. Comment down below, would you like uh, to win a copy of Weeping Nun? We could well, buy it and give it away. But it is technically unbelievably good. It's really. a good picture. I yeah. think just the subject nowadays is a bit... Yeah. Not to our taste. Not to modern tastes, is it? I'm going to get Mum to do a painting of you with your... You're sorting to look at as makes you feel... Good, like a, a proton. A, a nice, well, yeah, landscape. Now, here's the thing. Can I just draw your attention to something? This see, Audi next to us. Yes, you see that there? See that shaped number plate? Uh, see that number plate? That is totally, utterly, it should not be allowed on the road. Now, what do you think to that? Well, it's the wrong shaped number plate. It's spaced incorrectly, and I'm betting you that the, probably the fonts are OK. Uh, L-E-L. -L. <laughs> yeah. I'm assuming that's her name. Uh, but would probably be getting a fixed penalty notice. Well, no, they don't, do they? Uh, uh, let's, not get, let's not start that debate. But what, what is it with cutting shapes into your number plate now? It's like a... I've never seen it before. A curvy thing, isn't it? I've never seen it before, old mate. But I know when I was MOT and people used to look at me like I was the miserablest old git in the world for failing and for misplaced number plates. 
but it's my job to do it. Here's, here's my view. I can't have it on my car. Why should you have it on yours? Yeah, <laughs> but they don't. I think that there's more important things to be dealing with, isn't there? Absolutely. So, but like I say, some people used to think I was the miserable old git for failing their car from misplaced number. And lots of people are sensible. They just have another set in the boot. They stick on for such occurrences, which is fair enough. I was talking to a friend of mine the other day because I'd just gone round. I was leaving your house actually, and I was sort of going, "Oh, there's a misplaced number plate." And there's, a, "Oh, hello, mate." And I stopped and was talking to him. I said, "I was just going round saying to myself, misplaced number plate. Shit, I do have another set in the boot for MOT time, mm. okay. right, rather than have the hassle, you know." Yeah. But what amazed me was very often somebody would say, "I bought it like that." So that's not an excuse. A garage has done that. Mm. Well, what, there what, we go. I don't think the machines that make these number plates should be allowed to misspace them. I did an experiment. I went into our parts department and says to Nigel, "Can you make me a number plate misspaced?" I don't know whether the machine will let me do it, and it would. But the, the, the software should be set as such that it won't let you do it. Full stop. Yeah, I can't if argue with that. If you're putting that number on the bottom, because there most, you go. Most of these things are supplied by a company. You you buy them. They give you the machine, and you buy their product. I don't know. Anyway, the space free country, isn't it? It's up to you, isn't it? You do you. So we've done. What have we done? Four or five miles on the road test. Oh, it is a bit bumpy still. What do you reckon? It's better than the other one. <laughs> <laughs> Interestingly, I had two blobs on my petrol gauge when yeah. we started. It's lost two. Oh, I've right. done five miles. Oh, right. She's a bit thirsty then. Well, it's either thirsty or wasn't reading correctly to begin with. I was going to say, I thought there was a lot of fuel in it when I looked at it. Yeah, now I've got three bars out of a bottle ten. Or, should we go look around the... Let's go just do our, my favourite thing. Let's see what cars are in the garden centre car park. Oh, there's a Morris Minor! There you're talking. Right, we're at our local car park, Dobby's. Oh, yes. Not a car park, garden centre. Dobby's car park, which, and last time I came Oh, I know that car, yeah. Oh, does it belong to an ex-colleague? And somebody I'm um, aware of. He sold his Morris Miners to go and buy a property in Portugal. Oh. Right, here we go. Let's take a look around the car park then. What have we got? That's boring. I'm expecting to see Honda Jazz. That must work here, that car must, because it's often here. I've seen it before. Uh, yeah. Suzuki, yes. A Kia, yes. It's a very early one, though. It is, it's a split screen, isn't it? Mm. It's very beautiful. Uh, Citroen C3. Ah, now we're talking Suzuki Celerio. Oh, they like a Swift, but different. Mm, I think they're like a Proton Savvy. Oh. What on earth is that? I don't know, but okay. It's a Tivoli. Tivoli? Cool. Grains of whole wheat. Hmm. Interesting. Nissan Note. So it must be some sort of Chinese import there. A Tivoli. Let us know in the comments below. Is what it, on earth is a Tivoli? They do. Well, it's greys. Mm. Well, they're Mis Mitsubishi. Uh, Mitsubishi. That was boring. Wasn't much interesting in there to see. There wasn't much garden centre stuff, was there? Oh, there's a tree fell over in the swamp. Oh no! In the bayou. Yeah, there's alligators in there. You're going to go left here. Yeah. Good man. I've got my pedal to the metal. Oh. <laughs> she doesn't like being taken to the red line. You can't drive this like a lunatic. Like you can the 450. Ah, oh, that's boring. What I 
like is sticking Mrs. John Cooper in the passenger seat, sticking Crystal in the back and going for a go-kart ride. It's not very good for your wife and dog. Well, let's see if this man's got a load of citrons out. Oh, yeah, now we are going to the area of Lincolnshire that you know. Oh, yeah, there are citrons. Oh, there are. He's his, his overflow car park. I might go and park in with the citrons and pretend to be a citron for a moment. I shouldn't come as you've got to go up that kerb. Citrons go up kerbs, but I don't think smart cars do. If you look, oh, there's only one citron on the frontier. I cannot wait until I go and come back. Oh, they've chopped all the blinking trees down there. Oh, no! That's not very good. Every is it? single car in his car park is a citron. Yeah, he's a citron enthusiast, you know. In fact, I know somebody at the gym who went and bought one from there. Is he like a citron specialist? No, no, no nothing about him. Imagine going to a car dealer and all they're selling is citrons. Well, if you want a citron, it's the ideal but, place to go, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, but if you don't want a citron... We go somewhere else. Big prob. Is it my imagination? Are we getting a bit of exhaust foam in here? Uh, oh, 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 that wasn't very nice. It oh. just didn't know where to be, did it? Oh, dear. Um, are we getting a bit of exhaust fume? Might just be my... Because I'm, I'm, I can't smell, but I can taste. What can you taste? Exhaust fume. <laughs> but it might just be my mouth. Well, no. I don't know. No, you, you'd have noticed it. We need to put your mum in. Oh, she'll smell mould. Mould in here. Damp in here. There's mould in here. And six years ago, there was a cat. There's weeping nuns in here. I hope the lady whose husband painted that in watching our bloody podcast, else she'll be cross with us. What do you mean? Well, they're laughing about my painting in the exhibition. They might be laughing about us fixing a bright orange smart car. She might be very impressed. Well, she might, uh, it's, a, it's very clever, but not my sort of thing. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. What comes around comes around. Aye. We're going to get some really bad comments now. I don't want any of them. Well, They're nice looking houses, but they've got wedged in a bit, haven't they? Yeah. No character. Like Janice. Or oh, no, Janice is a character. She is a character, mate. Yeah. Shall I go this way or shall I carry on? You're driving. I oh, will get the roof on. Up. Are you happy with the road test? Well, this has dropped off me, old mate, has it? Not yet. My concern is you saying about the exhaust fume situation. It might be just my mouth. Well, I can't... You, you smell it, mate. You bet my sense of smell is pretty much the same as yours. Could be my imagination. Here's my takeaway from... Where's the... Ah. What are you doing? Are you putting the air con on? Yeah. He's already on, mate, isn't he? It's not, not working. Was working. Ah, there it is. Now it's working. Can't work if you've got the blinking uh, fan off, can it? It's cold. Good. It's cold, isn't it? Smart. <laughs> Smart. Right, here's my takeaway from the road test. Watch out here, some stupidity. I've got to film that bit again now. No, why? Here's my takeaway from the road test. Yes. Oh, they're, oh, they're using one of them spray machines. I did mention it the other day when we was here. To out, spray in tarmac. Yeah. To fill the potholes. Interesting. <laughs> anyway, here's my takeaway from the road test. This mate. It's a better ride than the 450. Yeah. But it's lost some of its character and charm. There's still quite a bit of road noise at 60, 70 miles an hour. But we fixed the problem with the brakes, haven't we? And... I'm pleased about that. The exhaust doesn't sound like a tractor. 
proof really is in the pudding, isn't it? I'm going to use it as a commuter vehicle. I'm going to drive a sort of 100 miles a day in it for the next week or two. Is your recovery up to date? Recovery is up to date. Did you know there was a sonic boom yesterday? Did you fall out of bed? No, I heard it actually. And I saw on my telephone sonic boom over Lincolnshire. Oh. It was, a... was that Callum and the boys? No, it's an American. Oh! Inadvertently did a sonic... But I must admit, I did hear it. it was, if you imagine the sort of noise it was from where I was sitting, when I was in the garden, it was like somebody had dropped a shipping container. Dong! Yeah, that was it. Dong! But it didn't send it... Because a proper sonic boom is a bit of a... Do -do. <laughs> Does that stink now? The aircon smells. Yeah. Doesn't it? Bacteria. Ugh. Right. We are home in the Smart 451. Well, that was uneventful, really. Well, yeah, yeah, what a boring video. Oh, we're going to put it in the shed. Yeah. Good. But I'm going to do an uh, intro first. An intro? Mm. I wouldn't go put the kettle on there. Oh, that sounds a good idea. Top Poor old Peugeot. Yeah. What a boring video. We took it for a test drive and no yeah. happened. Nobody's going to watch that, Meg, are they? No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, boring. The comments were, you're getting mainstream. <laughs> Why didn't it blow up? <laughs> no, don't say that, dude. <laughs> I don't need that. I've, I've got a lot of things. Oh. oh, no. I don't want to be able to use that because it was clonk, clonk, clonk. <laughs> I can't. Yeah, fine. Well, it's red anyway, you pressed the wrong button. There's probably, no, probably no... Oh well. It's greenery. I oh, know, I'm going to get the jet wash on it. Are you... Uh, so you're going to put the kettle on? I am. Good. Did Test lock, drive, isn't it? Did it lock us in? Yeah. I don't like that. Right. Ooh. Thanks for that. Thank you, I enjoyed that. It's not as scary. The fans are in. Yeah. Air conditioning. Yeah. Condenser phone. Well, that works then. Yep. It's good, isn't it? Well, there you have it then. Quite a boring, uneventful test drive, which actually is good news. There's a bit of road noise, which I didn't expect. And like I said, pulling into the drive, the car, the 451, seems to have lost a bit of the charm, that go kart feel of the Smart 450. Do I love it? Yeah, I love it. It's a bright orange smart car. I'm going to commute in it. I'm going to take it to work every single day this week, and that means I'm going to rack up 600 miles in the car. The insurance is, is good. It's cost me 150 odd quid for the year. Tax is free. Petrol? Well, we'll soon find out how economical it is with daily driving the car. I'm going to film my commute a couple of days this week because I'm going to cover sort of 50 miles a day there and back. If you've enjoyed the smart car repair process, thumbs up, please. And let me know in the comments below what you think. It's something I'm going to keep. What's the car worth now? Well, two and a half grand. What have I spent on it? 1800 quid. I could sell it tomorrow and make a profit and buy something else. But I think dad wants a bit of a rest and actually I think my Smart 450 is on the way out. Will it be as good of a commuter vehicle as that? Will it last five years? Who knows? How many times will we have to build the engine? I'm looking forward to a few adventures in the Tangerine Smart, and I'm going to get Mrs. John Koopman to have a look around it because she's not actually had a good poke around this yet. I brought it straight to Dad's. There might be a commuting vehicle with me and Mrs. John Koopman. Who knows? I suppose the takeaway from this is... Smart cars are a quaint little thing. They're a blooming good little car. What else do you get for 1,800 quid nowadays? Anyway, till next time, till the next project. Have a great day, whatever you're getting up to. Thanks as ever to Dad. Thanks for watching. There will be more Smart Night Orange stuff to come, but this feels like the end of the working process. I'm sure there'll be other things we have to fix on the way. 
Till next time, have a great day. Goodbye. If you've enjoyed this video, I've selected a few more specially for you on this page. Click either side to select them now. And if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button to always stay up to date with the channel.